Guys, I'm going to play you a video clip of what happened at one of the farm auctions in Texas this past week. And I play this because I want you to be aware. Meat prices might actually trend down for a hot minute because there's going to be an influx in how much meat's going to the processing plants. Because the farmers in Texas can't afford to feed their animals. What does that mean for you? Meat prices rose 25% since last month. That's a lot, okay? We might get a little reprieve, we might, but you know what's gonna happen after that reprieve is over? And these animals are gone because the farmers aren't raising as much. Prices are gonna go up. Why can't they afford to feed their animals right now? Have you paid attention to the droughts in Texas? The combination of the heat and our ongoing drought is forcing some North Texas ranchers to sell off cattle by the thousands. You know, when you think about it with grass and water running out, ranchers told Jason Allen they really don't have much of a choice here. Two or four or six at a time, cows were sold off at the Decatur Livestock Market Monday. They had so many, more than 2,600, they expected to work well past midnight to finish the job. Pictures and videos have spread on social media the last few days showing trucks and trailers lined up for miles outside livestock markets around the region. Pastures are running out of grass, ponds are running low on water, and ranchers are running out of time to do something. I'm holding off as long as I can, but... Lee McLaughlin from Springtown wasn't selling his cows Monday, but came to watch, prepare himself for the prices, expecting he may be in the same position in the coming weeks. Because there's not enough grass left, even if it got a good rain, it'd take forever for it to bounce back. And, uh, and it's not going to help our hay situation. A government report released Monday found 83% of Texas pasture land is currently in poor to very poor condition. Owners here told us they're seeing mostly older animals coming in, that ranchers are trying to hold on to the younger ones at home, hoping that conditions are going to change, but they can't wait too long. As the drought goes on, the cows are going to lose weight, and so you're going to go from like a high-yield cow that's a good flesh cow down to a low-yield cow. Nearly everyone we talked to said they hadn't seen a sell-off like this in about a decade, going back to the last severe run of heat and drought in 2011. Our farmers are struggling, and if you're not paying attention, please pay attention. Keep stocking, keep prepping. This isn't going away. It's not. In fact, it's going to get worse, okay? If they're not raising these animals, where's your meat coming from? Less supply, increased demand, Higher prices, you've heard the story. It's not gonna get better. I want you to prepare. Stock up on your meats. Stock now, stock while you have a break. Can it, learn how to pressure can it, freeze it if you have freezer space. There's so many things we can do, but we have to be prepared and you can do it.